Hi guys, once again, I am back with my bullet journal, my timer, and some supplies to create a bullet journaling spread for students under 10 minutes. This was highly requested after I did my last bullet journaling under 10 minutes video, or my first one. So I thought I'd take on the challenge and create seven pages under 10 minutes that I think will really help those of you who are in college, university, or high school. Before I get into it though, I would like to ask that if you end up creating any bullet journaling spreads under 10 minutes, whether they're for student life or not, I'd love it if you could tag me in your photos on Instagram so I can see what you guys are up to. All of you are incredibly creative and it always makes me happy to see those photos. With that being said, I've got my timer ready, so let's get started. I finished the spread with 44 seconds to spare. Let's walk through the pages. I'm starting off with a timetable spread. Timetables are some of my most popular spreads for student bullet journaling, and this is a really simple one. Essentially, under each date, you would just write which classes you have. So for Monday, nine to three, <laughs> nine to three. What kind of class is nine to three? Clearly my head isn't working, but this is just for example. So from nine to three, if you had this make-believe class of Eco 100, that would actually be torture. And you've got a 10 to 12 p.m. on Tuesday with maybe a five to seven later on. And I think from there, it's pretty self-explanatory. As you could see through my speed through, I added pops of color all throughout these spreads with my mild liner. As always, link is in the description box below. On to the master syllabus. I got a few questions about what exactly a master syllabus is in my last student bullet journaling video. If it's not clear, essentially what happens at the beginning of a semester is you're given a syllabus by your professor and each of your courses, you get a separate syllabus with all the due dates for your assignments. And the master syllabus is essentially a place where you can put all of those due dates for all of your courses in one spot. To keep this really simple to create, I just did one column of numbers for the days of the month. Obviously some months don't have 31 days, so you just ignore that spot. And then to distinguish each month, I just added some little doodles around the boxes. And we make our way to the project planner. This one is very similar to the one I created in my last student bullet journal video, but I think it's even easier to create. I think I did this one in less than a minute. At the beginning of a project Project, you'd figure out all the tasks that you need to do to complete the project and assign many due dates for each task. I put due date in quotation mark because obviously it's not an official due date. Oh my goodness, I just wrote the tasks section under the due date column. See, I make mistakes too, it happens. But anyways, after you fill this out properly, you could, if you wanted to, assign a page for each task so you can keep organized. I'm gonna start the first one here. So for brainstorming, you might create a mind map where you can put all your ideas. I really like doing this at the beginning of a project. On the next page, I have a line graph system for a study log. The days of the month are on the x-axis, and on the y-axis, you have the hours studied. So on day one, you may do three hours. Day two, you may do four. On day three, you may do, oh, you're a bad student, you did one, and then you'd connect them. And the last two pages are a sample weekly spread. The number of any particular day is within a triangle, so that stands out. This is a fake weekly spread, technically, 
typically the first is supposed to start on a Friday in September. Again, I kept it vertical and like my last student weekly spread, I have a section for each course where at the beginning of the week you would write down everything you need to do for each course and then from there you'd sort those tasks into a particular day or time. I personally like to keep the top section open for events and then I would divide it. At the bottom you could even add a meal planner, just do simple to-do lists. Maybe you have a special event happening that you want to emphasize. As you can see, the spread is really great if you want something that's flexible. Each day doesn't have to be the same. You can customize it to fit whatever your needs may be. And there it is. There's my bullet journaling for students under 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other spreads you'd like to see me do in under 10 minutes. I will see you all very soon with a new video. And until then, bye everyone. Was found here, you'll come on.